happen in threes around here. And since our next interview is with three people, it's bound to be incredible. One is a fierce Togruta. The other is a Mandalorian with an art degree. And the third is making their Star Wars debut as the live action version of Hera Syndulla. From the new Disney Plus series, Ahsoka, please welcome Rosario Dawson, Natasha. Natasha Lou Bordizzo and Mary Elizabeth Winston! something I'm excited yes. you know what you're Ahsoka you can forge whatever you want you yes, go ahead you make ready. a helmet for Sabine you do whatever you would like to do <laughs> love the tools <laughs> hi welcome hey, Ooh. I see a lot of Ahsoka's in the crowd there's a lot of Ahsoka love today I know Sabines at. Where are my Sabines? All right, they all left the building. It's okay. We got you. We got you. I'm the only Sabine. Yeah, yes. we have a lot of Sabine love. <laughs> Rosario. Uh, yes, you yes. are Ahsoka. You are. I am no Jedi, but I am Ahsoka. <laughs> Now, you spent quite a few years with the character already. Yeah. First playing her in live action in The Mandalorian season two. Yes. I imagine you've gotten to know her quite well. Yes, very, very well. Yes. And uh, she's left quite the impression on me. It's definitely been, I think, a lifestyle change. I meditate every day. Ming would prefer if I trained every day still. <laughs> but uh, we did a lot of that during it and I'm, I'm looking forward yeah. to it. You know, if you guys love it enough, hopefully we'll get a second season and get to do it again. I feel like I, I manifested this role, so I'm just throwing it out there to keep manifesting. Keep manifesting. Keep manifesting. Oh, season two. <laughs> you did, I think you brought up Ahsoka years and years ago. I did, in yeah. In an interview, and now here we are. Fan cast, uh, Boss Logic made an image of me as the character, and I retweeted it. It got to the attention of Dave, who saw it and was like, actually, yeah, she does kind of look like her, and kind of kept it back of mind because I was so passionate about it. And then when Mandalorian came up, I got the Skype call. The Skype call. <laughs> Now, Natasha, sometimes. the last time you came to Star Wars Celebration, I think you had recently gotten the Skype call because you had just been announced as Sabine. And you were, I think, three weeks into production at the time. How has your perspective on Sabine Wren changed since those very early days when you got the first script, got the first look at what you would look like in live action? Oh. When I was at Celebration a year ago, I had just started to familiarize myself with the character, so it was very strange, like, celebrating something that I was just learning. And um, we've been through a lot together, Sabine and I, and uh, quite a journey. I think she faced a lot of demons, she faced herself, um, and she overcame a lot and found hope again. Very exciting. And Mary, yesterday yes. we got to see a first look at you as Harrison Dula. You did. A lot of Harris in the crowd. What can you tell us about where we're going to find Hera in her story 
in Ahsoka the series. Right. Well, as we know, as what we've seen in Rebels, Hera is an incredible pilot, a uh, very maternal figure to her crew. She's a um, space mom. She's space love mom. Her. Yeah, I'm proud, proud to get to play a <laughs> space mom. Um, and so we get to kind of see her advance from there. You know, she's a general, she's a leader, she's become somewhat of a legend um, in that role. And uh, so it's pretty cool to, to play someone that strong and also that like nurturing and um, maternal and, and kind. So it was like quite something to, to step into some shoes that were big to fill because she, she encompasses so much. Um, so I felt very proud to have the opportunity to, to try and do that. Rosario, I'm loving just watching you supporting these two women up here. Just so excited to, to be here all together, so excited for the series. Now, I know you've been with Star Wars for a bit, but Mary and Natasha, I would like to ask you, as you are new to Star Wars, what has been the most surprising aspect of working in this galaxy far, far away? It's not a job. <laughs> it's a lifestyle, it's a family, it's just so much more than anything has ever given me, so I'm just really grateful. Look at this. <laughs> I think everyone's welcoming you to the Star Wars family. Yeah. Very excited I to feel have that. you all in the Star Wars family. We're so excited. I mean, I would echo that. It's just being on set in a, a, this show and with this cast and the crew, everyone loves it so much that you would think something that at this level might be a bit stressful or people might be stressed out at the pressure of it. And it's the opposite. Everyone's overjoyed at every minute and giddy and happy and relaxed. Um, and I just was like amazed that I got to be a part of that atmosphere. That sounds like the perfect job. Giddy, relaxed, everyone's happy to be there. Rosario, you mentioned the lightsaber training earlier. Did someone mention lightsabers? Oh, I guess, uh, I guess I can say that that was pretty cool. Yeah, I can say that now. I'm so excited when we just saw this trailer that we got to be able to talk about that a little Did bit. Or can we? No, 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 <laughs> I feel like Dave Filoni is everywhere. Exactly, exactly. But, you know, it's just to have trained so hard, to have worked so hard with these wonderful people. Um, and can I just say, like, I think the relationship between these characters is one of the things that was so exciting. It was very different, obviously, on Mandalorian and Boba Fett. You got to see a lot of Ahsoka's, I think, loneliness. You know, she's really kind of out there fighting the good fight, oftentimes kind of on her own. Or is she? You know, I think there's some really great suggestions um, in this to kind of see actually the comrades in arms that she's actually been, ha you know, working with all this time and to have these relationships that go back so far um, and to have the level of trust that she has with these, you know, different characters is, is just something really special. You know, we love Ahsoka for how steadfast she is, what a true believer she is, for how capable and, and, and you know, just incredible she is. But so are these incredible women that she also gets to work with as well. And I think that protective energy that you talk about, it's not separate, right? You know, with Hera being a leader and a mother figure, that's just protection all in one, you know? And then, I mean, look at that face. Look, Look at, that, at face. that face. Does she not give Sabine? I mean, it was really like oftentimes pinching myself because I'm doing the research, looking, you know, watching Rebels and Clone Wars over and over again. And then you walk on set and it's uncanny the way they stepped into these characters and the essence that, of these characters that they bring to life is just next level. I got it with Dave looking at me when I was staring at them, honestly. I got it. And I know Dave has, has mentioned that. He's brought that up a time or two. <laughs> now that we've mentioned Dave Filoni a couple times, I feel like he's just going to appear out of a puff of smoke like in the middle of the forge. But 
whether he's listening or not, whether he's watching the live stream, whether he is just backstage and he's going to greet us when we come off of here, is there anything particular that you've learned about your characters from Dave Filoni or anyone else in the Lucasfilm Star Wars family that changed how you performed, how you portrayed that character on screen? I mean, I, I hung on every word that came out of his mouth, I think. So I, I think I tried to take everything he said to me. And, and really, I don't think he ever, he never gave any notes that were like, you've got to play it this way. He just, like the way he is, he has conversations with you that are very relaxed and fun. And everything that he would say, I was sort of in mental notes, mental notes, mental notes in my mind. Um, because he's so brilliant, but he's so kind. and. Um, you know, so he's not too strong, strong armed about it. He just is sort of an open book. So you can ask anything at any time. And he's just this well of information. Um, so we talked a lot about sort of like old war films and General Patton and, you know, these sort of generals, these iconic generals of. of and Harrison Dula. She's one. And Harrison Dula. So that was something that was great to, to talk with him about his, his cinematic perspective on that and to try to get to see that through his eyes. Dave quite literally lives and breathes Star Wars. And sometimes when he looks at me, Absolutely. I don't know if he's seeing Natasha or Sabine. Maybe it doesn't matter. But it's just, I'll like bump into him in the hallway and we'll be ha I'll be talking about something random like my dog back in Sydney, Australia, which is where I'm from. And, um, <laughs> oh, thanks. And he will somehow relate it back to Star Wars. And I'm like, ha OK. He, he just, he just is that person all the time. And on set, um, just to have him there as this guardian of everything that we're trying to do. And, and whatever question you have, he has an essay to respond with. So yeah, he's got a whiteboard. He flips it. He's just like, here it is. God bless Dave. Star Wars Encyclopedia. I think all oh, hey. Him having that sort of encyclopedic knowledge of it, it just gives you such a foundation and such a sense of security that you know you're in good hands, you know, and anything that you're going to try is going to be something he's going to be able to really appreciate and give notes on. Um, but I think for me, probably that's just the trust that he gave me helped me with my confidence a lot, you know, because he just, he's so collaborative and he just felt, I think we just really connected on how much we just really adore and love this character so much. And so there was just this level of trust that was there. And I think he just gave me a lot of confidence in being able to just sort of step into this role. Um, yeah, he's fun to have on set. Like it was really hard actually when he wasn't on set. There weren't very many moments of that, but like you definitely felt it. Um, and yeah, that was, was talking, we would talk a lot. John, I, I, I joked about that earlier, but we really, John would be like, can we, can we get back to shooting? Because we're, it's story time, yay, can we get back to shooting? <laughs> no, it's story time. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, I know you can't say much about Ahsoka, so could you, before we go, could you leave us with one word to describe the Ahsoka series? I, I, I feel it's like majestic. There's so like, it's very Ooh. majestic to me. Great answer. Badass. Yeah, yeah. That could be Sabine or Ahsoka the series, but yeah, we'll take it. We'll allow it. I don't, intense, like I don't know. <laughs> yeah, intense. all right, all right. Woo. We don't pull any punches. I'm just Ooh. letting you guys know. All right. It's well, full on. Be prepared. Be prepared. Well, I am very excited <laughs> to see you all on screen soon. And I know the rest of us are too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Give it up one more time for Rosaria Dawson, Mary Elizabeth Winston, and Natasha Lou Bordizzo. Stick around. Mm -hmm. Lots more to come today from Star Wars Celebration Live. Don't you dare click away.
Christina Ariel, and I am here live from the show floor at Star Wars Celebration Live 2023. So let's talk to some friends of mine. Hello, 